So I'm here to bring you a twist out today. I'm going to be using the True by May Beautiful Conditioning Styling Cream and the Main Choice Biotint Infused Gel. Both of these products smell really, really good. Um, first, I'm going to apply that conditioning cream all over my hair. I don't want to have to constantly switch between the conditioning cream and the gel. So right off the bat, I apply that over my entire head. Um, I usually do it in about four different sections, two in the front and two in the back, just to make sure I'm coating every strand. Once I've got that done, then I take out my main choice gel. The gel has a really slimy consistency, in my opinion. It smells really good, and it does not leave your hair hard. And it is biotin infused, meaning that it's healthy for the hair. Um, I really like it. So the first thing I'm going to do is break out a section of hair and put that gel on it. I just coat the fingers. As soon as you put the gel on, you see curl definition, which is really nice. And then once I've got that first twist done, you can see it's coated in white. So that is the extra hair product in my hair. I tend to do twist outs usually right before I am about to wash my hair. It's a great way to detangle your hair and kind of pre-treat it with moisturizing conditioner before wash day to kind of expedite it so you don't have to deal with dry hair and a lot of tangles. So all I do is go section by section. Usually I go from back to front. Um, it makes it a little bit easier to section the hair. But for the purposes of this video, I did do the front first so you guys could see what I was doing. If you look at the braids that are already completed, the ends do tend to curl up on their own. Um, when you have the product in there, you'll see that your hair is pretty much reacting just how it would when you're doing a wash and go. It's curling on its own, so the ends kind of wrap around each other, making it unnecessary to do a curl, a twist and curl, unless you choose to do so like you want that particular look. Um, I'm not really interested in doing that. I just really want to focus on pretty much detangling my hair. So what I do when I am doing this twist out is I just go section by section. And anytime I find any shed hair or tangles, I just work that out as I go. It kind of simplifies the um, process for tomorrow when you're taking them down. If you leave tangles in your hair, your twist out will not be as defined and nice the following day. Because you'll have too many tangles to really separate your definition. That's why you want to get them all out while you are twisting that hair. If you find tangles, it's not a big deal. You just want to kind of gently remove them and then keep going. So it looks like I'm about done with the front. I only have a couple more braids left before I get to the back. Um, it takes me about maybe 30 to 40 minutes to twist my whole head. And that is on a week when my hair is really, really tangled. Um, I started with a crown braid that I took down. So it's already kind of stretched. It was a little bit dry. That's why I put the moisturizing conditioner on there before I got to twisting. But overall, it really wasn't too much of like hard work twisting my hair. It just takes a lot of time and it was late and I got tired. Um, but overall, it was a really quick process. So I would say the twist outs are really fun and they come out really, really cute the following day. So I do love to do them probably about every other week only because a lot of times at night I don't have time to take 40 minutes to braid my hair before going to bed. So it looks like I'm wrapping up in the back and now we're going to see the takedown. So on the next day, um, I just take my bonnet off. I'm getting ready to go to work. So I am removing twists as fast as possible. I would say it takes probably about... 10 to 15 minutes to take down all of your twists in the morning if you do choose to do this style before work. All I do is coat my fingers with some oil and then take and detangle each, well, unravel rather, each twist. It's a really quick process. Um, your hair comes out really, really defined. As you can see, it's like really, really defined. Some people choose not to separate their twists. Personally, after I've tried to unravel all the twists and all the time I find like extra twists that I did not unravel, then I put a little bit more oil on my hands and then I separate each twist. Um, I just like a fuller look. So I like to separate the curls. And as you can see, my definition is really nice. It's very defined. Um, it's not really stretched. 
I did do a dry twist out, so it's more stretched than it would have been had I, like, wet my hair prior to. But my hair tends to experience a lot of shrinkage, especially when I use a really moisturizing product as I did with the True by Made Beautiful Conditioning Styling Cream. But that's okay. Um, I really like the, the shrinkage and the definition because it gives me really big hair that looks really, really nice for the day. And usually at night, all I'm going to do is put on a bonnet. And it'll last usually about two days without retwisting. And then on like the second night, I'll just twist it in bigger sections so it'll take a lot less time. And then unravel those twists the following day just to keep that curl definition and to keep it from getting too frizzy. But um, in this particular case, I really only needed it to wear my hair to work. And then I think I washed it in like a day or two. So as you can see, the more I separate the curls, the bigger my hair gets. And I'm like really loving the volume of my hair. I kind of like it to frame my face. And once I'm done with all of the twists, I have a nice little curly fro. It has a lot of movement. I like to shake it just to kind of loosen it up. So personally, I do like to smooth down the baby hairs on the right side of my hair. Um, that's the side that I always pin back. It's just like my style and my look. I use the main choice edge control. It works really, really well. You put it on in the morning and it literally lasts all day. Some days when I wake up the following day, it my edges are still laid down. So after I smooth that edge control on, I just take and bobby pin it back. And then I separate any curls that I feel like should be kind of more voluminous. So once I've got that bobby pin in place, my hair is pretty much complete. I was really pleased with the results. I got great definition. It was really soft and very movey. Um, I do really want to thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned something new. Please feel free to comment below any thoughts or how you do your twists out. And I just really hope you guys like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.